Very good morning children. In this video we are going to discuss is about larynx. Before that we discussed in the last video which is good either breathing through nose or breathing through mouth. Yes many of you have answered very correctly it is breathing through nose only because you know as cilia present it uh, propels the dust humidifies because of mucus turbinals maintain temperature so all that is happening when we breathe through nasal cavity nostrils so that is the correct answer children let us see about larynx okay so larynx of course the common name of larynx a possible question voice box is the common name of larynx okay and it is connecting the laryngopharynx to trachea where it is present it is found in the cervical region between c3 and c6 cartilages cervical vertebra so we found in the neck region of course between c3 and c6 exactly this is what uh, about a larynx location and larynx is made up of totally nine cartilages question will come how many cartilage of course it is nine cartilage what are they they are three paired and three unpaired so the three paired are artinoid corniculate and cuneiform so these are the three paired cartilages we have three unpaired cartilages first one is thyroid okay and you can see compared to all other cartilage thyroid is the largest one so possible question children which is the largest cartilage of course it is thyroid okay and it is otherwise called what it is otherwise called adam's apple okay now next one it is of course made up of hyaline cartilage and if you see the next one is epiglottis it is free cartilage actually epiglottis free cartilage and you find it on the rim of the thyroid as you remember it closes the glottis whenever we swallow the food so it is free cartilage and you find it in the rim of thyroid now base of the thyroid we can find what cricoid at base of cartilage base of thyroid so these three are unpaired cartilages of course we have paired cartilages also we discussed now you can find a mucous membranous folding on the larynx uh, the mucous membrane folding what we find on the upper side we call it as false vocal cord and at the mucous membrane at the lower side we call it as true vocal cord of course false vocal cord on the upper side mucous membrane folding is not used for creating sound whereas true vocal cord it creates sound okay can you tell me children for whom it is shorter and uh, uh, high pitch of course for a uh, females it will be shorter vocal cord so that we are producing high pitch sound for male it will be longer they will be producing low pitch sound okay now can you tell me children we are producing sound and our voice box we discuss larynx you know parrot and some other words also produce sound do you know what is the voice box of the birds please answer in the comment box thank you all for watching the video please share subscribe and support me